Hey the folks, how are we doing now? As you can see, we're getting well on now with the triaxle trailer. In the last video, you would have seen uh, the Applied Concepts Vary Mount 350 and the Aqua Blaster Extreme 100 absolutely blasting the paint off this thing. I've never seen a shop blaster work as quickly as that system with no dust as well because it's water injection. What a system. Um, yeah, really, really impressed. And big thanks to the Applied Concept guys for bringing that over and demoing it for me. Um, yeah, what a bit of kit. Might be something I'll invest in at a later date because it's, it's expensive, but it's not that expensive. You can soon make your money back with a bit of kit like that, like, you know. So, uh, but anyway, that was great. Um, now, obviously, it's painting time. Now, whether you can tell on the video, um, it's all masked up. I've actually put the X Primer on. It's already had a coat of X Primer on. Well, I've dusted because you're only supposed to dust X Primer on. So, um, so X Primer's on. I'm just about to mix up some High Build Primer and then prime it all up, and then it's a lovely coat of paint. Then, Woohoo, can't wait. Always need to give it a good old, good old shake. Get it mixed up. I haven't got a paint mixer, so you just have to do the old uh, jiggle jiggle. Oh, smells beautiful. I do love, I'm not a paint sniffer, but paint does smell lovely, doesn't it? It does smell gorgeous. Right. So we want a four to one on this. So we've got um, four parts of high build primer. And I'm using P6000 hardener, so one part of that. Got me mixing tub. Right, so I've got a new gravity fed gun just for this job. Um, so let's see what happens. Just a bit more of a... Oh, Looking good. That's gone on quite nicely. I mean, primer's primer. It's a, it's a start, but it doesn't beat putting the final coat on, which is what I'm looking forward to. Getting that final gloss coat on, it's going to look good. But it's a bit like welding. You've got to do your prep right. So that's why we've etch primed it and that's why we're putting the high build on. So it'll be some good paint once we're done. It'll be a good finish. So the primer has gone on an absolute treat and uh, now it's time for the best bit. Putting the top coat on. <laughs> Let's get on. Oh, look at that. Beautiful black. There we go. So we want 600, well, the mix I'm doing, I want two parts, um, we want two parts paint, one part hardener. So uh, I'm doing 600 mil of paint, 300 of um, the fast activator, which is that stuff. Look at that. No going back now. Right, so that's all the tricky stuff done around the axles, the chassis rails, everything underneath, all the awkward stuff. So now I've got the pleasurable job of doing like body work, you know, the you know the good stuff. So let's get on.
Looking good. is done. Three coats of uh, black 2k on there and uh, yeah, especially when I put the second coat on she really started to sort of pop that black is real you know real poppy black if you know what I mean and um, yeah I think that's gonna look good got the obviously the I think it's squirrel grey for the wheels so a nice grey wheel um, and all black and uh, that'll be um, I'll spray that with some sort of uh, high vis tape and some chevron bits so it'll um it'll yeah it won't all be black light it'll have some highlights so i sort of took my inspiration from chieftain's low loader and um grizzly as well grizzly fabrication they make some lovely lovely trailers um and they tend to be sort of you know real dark sort of black or sort of real dark gun metal gray um so that was my inspiration chieftain and grizzly like so uh but uh, yeah, I think that'll be good. Get the wheels back on uh, tomorrow when this is all, you know, everything's gone off and it's nice and hard. Um, then it's down to UTV because I've got a full set of um, twinklies coming from UTV. Uh, a load of amber sides, um, some rear, uh, some red markers on the back, some white front markers on the front, some end markers. They do, basically, they do everything for the trailer, so. Um, that'll be next. So it's the day after I painted it, and uh, yeah, it looks alright, doesn't it? Does look nice, and it'll look obviously it'll look even better uh, when I get the decals on it, all that sort of stuff. But uh, what we can do today is uh, have this masking off because that then. Because of course the overspray makes it look a bit sort of untidy still obviously but you take the mask it off and you get them crisp lines don't you so yes very nice obviously i'll get this um i'll treat this timber get this tree so that comes up nice as well look know what it wants but you can't get hold of the stuff anymore can you but i'll create so oh yes it's looking good <laughs> So when you get to this sort of stage is where all the hard work's like worth it. She looks like a proper trailer again, and um, I think you'll agree. Well, I hope you agree. It, you know, she looks good. Black trailer, and like the dark grey wheels, sets off nice, like you know. Um, yeah, it looks good. I'm well chuffed with it. And it all goes back to um, you know applied concepts and their monster of a very very mount 350 uh, compressor and the Aqua Blaster Extreme 100. Just makes such a nice job of taking the paint off and giving it a good you know giving the paint you know the new paint a good key to go on to like it's made a lovely job really has so um yeah so that is sort of that you know that's uh this part done the painting and the wheels back on that's that segment done 
Um, like I say, the spray suppression is going to go on now. I'm going to get the decals on. Got, um, you see on the deck there, there's some new underrun bars to go on the front here. Um, and then I've got an order coming from UTV Products. Obviously, uh, a full LED light package from them. Uh, you know me and LEDs. I've been doing LEDs for donkey's years. And uh, when you're doing a sort of blank canvas like this, you do it right, didn't you? You get all the lights, and she is going to have all the lights on the lot. She's going to look very, very pretty when she's done. So um, that is it for this stage of the sort of restoration. And uh, next one will be obviously, like I say, decals, all like the finishing touches, and um, you know, get a get it, you know, get um, get it in the dark and that, get all the lights on, see what uh, see what she looks like. But uh, anyway, I think we enjoyed that. I'll see you on the next one. Ta-ta.